So Undead Labs has just dropped their final update. Update 38, Legacy Awaits. And I must say, I did play just a little bit of it because I had just got off of work, got time to get the update, see everything that was going on, read everything that was going on. And I must say, it's a lot to talk about. So let's go ahead and get into this video. But before we do, please be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified when we drop a brand new video. It's your boy, The Real Tundra, a.k.a. King Tundra, and let's talk about it. So before we get started again, can we please talk about how they ended up, you know, putting the soundtrack in the main menu like that just makes me happy there's nothing better than loading up the game and you're hearing this song right here playing not gonna lie it, it's like music to my ears it's my favorite song from their soundtrack now we have to talk about these other things that undead labs decided to do now update 38 it has a lot and i mean absolutely a lot of stuff going on um with this so for starters one of the things that they are doing is they made all of the outfits available However, they're not available for free at all, which you actually have, to, I mean, they are free because what you have to do is go out and scavenge for them. And honestly, I actually did manage to, when I was testing out to see if I can actually find an outfit, I actually did manage to find an outfit, which was kind of crazy. But yes, you, you get all the firefighter helmets, the trucker campaign hats, you get the combat helmet and all that stuff you get the jack gas station jackets the pirate jackets the kraken hoodies you get the scarecrow mask which i don't have i don't have the hockey mask um but i do have some of the other stuff but not only that you get the juggernaut outfit from the heart the skull to the jack and you get the outlaw vest sea of thieves and remember you have to find these while scavenging they're not just giving these things to you and also they did do vehicles as well such as the tiger claw pizza cat anime team flame and drink demon skull the barbed heart gambler kraken and wizard vent and i'm guessing the rest of the stuff um will be available it will be available with the bounty broker now you do have some weapons as well you get three blunt weapons and two bladed weapons that you can also find which is the titan bat zed pacer pacer however you want to say it zed swatter skull splitter and the grass cutter and you have some of those things now a couple of other things that you um should be aware of they have improved the quality of life improvements which is the waters were slow in vehicles community inventories so what that is is they're saying that while over in the base you can now access individual survivors inventories from the community screen allowing you to quickly view or equip their items transferring items between you or store their gear including rucksacks into base storage no more hunting around the base to find a survivor you need all right so this is one that i talked about in update 37 which was zombie spawning has been removed after certain noise because if you remember i told you they wanted to do more real uh realistic by me saying that you know when you clear out an area that area is done you know there's not going to be zombies randomly spawning up in um in that area after you don't cleared it so what they're saying is fail search crashes and door slams will no longer spawn new zombies their noise events will now simply attract already existing zombies to their location they've also reduced the distance at which characters automatically attempt to climb down from ledges additionally characters would no longer attempt to climb down unintentionally whilst the player is aiming 
which could often lead to some frustrating moments and rucksacks can now be deposited at claim landmark outposts. So you have that. And then of course they went and fixed some blood donors uh, stuff, I guess, you know, to make it more so like any other enclave, you know, coming in, doing their missions and stuff like that, which I personally think is good because I got tired of the blood donor mission spawning in like crazy. And it's like, no, spawn in like the rest spawn in. You know, if you do, you do. You don't, you don't. I like the fact that they improved that. Now you can also obtain rewards for defeating the Black Heart and killing a jug during the Gargantuan mutation, which includes RTX Piranha, RTX Rampant, RTX Cyclone, Cyclone Tactical, and MCX Osprey RT. Now, I guess that had to do with some um, community feedback because they did say in response to community feedback that it was appearing too frequent. The delay in cooldown for the Banganomics curveball has been somewhat e increased. I guess they're saying because the those curveballs was popping up frequent. And honestly, if you guys do want to see me do my lethal all negative curveball gameplay, I will upload. I'm probably going to be uploading it soon. So make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button with uh, post notifications turned on. Because I will be um, working on that video next, along with probably two to three other videos. Guys, I'm trying the hardest I can. You know, five nights a week, I only have four hours to do these videos and edit. Bear with me. But also, I appreciate you guys for staying with me. Now, there are zombie in combat fixes. Just to let you know, they have been doing that. Okay, and one of the things I do want to talk about is where they said they fixed a bug in which zombies sometimes become unresponsive after getting stuck in their ideal state. And they also fixed an issue where pharaohs could instantly destroy certain vehicles by attacking to and attacking specific points. Oh, attaching, I'm sorry, and attacking specific points. I was about to say, what? But I do know somewhat what they're talking about. If you guys watch me on Twitch, you know, at the Real Tundra, then you guys will see firsthand. I, I know what they're talking about with this one. But they also fixed some curveball things, which is also good and it's very much needed it it is very much needed. some of these issues are very much um need to be fixed i don't really personally have uh problems with them and then they fix some of the missions which i think you guys would be happy about especially if you're trying to do these things in trumba valley and some of these things aren't popping up because i'm not gonna lie to you guys this was one of the big issues that i had and i damn near had to like create a whole new community just to do it but luckily it was fixed before and i was able to get the haven advice and i still got missions to go so they have fixed that like one of the things where it says resolve and exploit in heartland where the cleo supply drop mission could be bypassed by leaving the site and returning to zero zombies which auto completed the mission now the mission would be abandoned and must be redone so i guess you guys was out here exploiting this thing in order to do it and now they made sure to fix it which is good on their part you know you guys need to earn these things not try to cheat to get it and then there are some ui and settings fixes again i'm gonna just go through one of them fix an issue with luxury crates missing exclamation marks on certain items i mean the list of things that they have done and all just so they can um focus more on state of the k3 guys the list is completely long that means they've been literally trying to put in work to make sure that before they leave the game with no more updates they wanted to make sure that the game was good but if you guys know that you guys already know with each update no matter what game it is call of duty nba 2k probably dead by daylight guys oh man we always know there's gonna be some issues but i do seriously hope because it looks like a lot of these may be pc issues my only issues is uh maybe a couple of things that i named but i mainly get crashes and honestly when i did a little test earlier i'm not gonna lie it it felt smooth 
it really did it felt smooth but we're gonna see how long that lasts so let me know down in the comment section below if any of your issues was fixed and if not i would personally love to know what issues that you are currently still having in the game and be sure to let yeah just let me know down in the comment section below and i will be replying to you guys as i always do and again thank you all for my support and hopefully it does fix it and i will be talking to you all later it's your boy tundra and i'm out